Welcome back to the No Sugar Please channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to make our famous red velvet cupcakes. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we're going to post each week new recipes. So don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. First, we're going to add three eggs. We are going to add a half a stick of butter melted, but we let it cool because we don't want the eggs to cook. We're going to add a half a cup of sour cream. Next, we're going to add a third of a cup of almond milk and heavy whipping cream. You're going to divide it half and half. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. And now we're going to mix all of our wet ingredients very well. Once we have all of our ingredients mixed together, we're going to add our dry ingredients. Let's start adding 2 cups of almond flour. Next, a quarter cup of erythritol. Two tablespoons of cocoa powder without any sugar added. Now we're going to add all of our ingredients together and be careful with the powder it just goes everywhere but if you're careful it doesn't happen let's add our secret ingredient it's one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of vinegar. It can be white vinegar or apple cider vinegar and we're gonna mix it in another little bowl. Now that it's mixed, we're gonna add it to our cupcake batter. Finally, we're going to add 2 teaspoons of red coloring. Be careful because this can stain a lot. cupcake batter is ready so now we're gonna add it to our cupcake pan and as you can see we filled it a little bit over half of it it's just a little precaution because they do tend to grow a lot in the oven We're going to put them in the oven for 20 minutes at 240 Fahrenheit. We have now finished uh, making the batter and we put the cupcakes in the oven. Now we're going to start making the icing for the cupcakes. For the icing, we're going to start with one stick of butter at room temperature. We have to whisk the butter until it loses that yellowish color it has. It's going to turn out like a cream color. Now 
now we're going to add 16 ounces of cream cheese. In this video, we used half of the recipe I am giving to you, but it wasn't enough for the 12 cupcakes. So for the sake of the recipe and the video, I am giving you the recipe double, but it's gonna be for the 12 cupcakes we made. Half a cup of powdered erythritol. And slowly we're gonna add half a cup of heavy whipping cream. One teaspoon of vanilla extra without any sugar added and finally one teaspoon of lime juice this is totally up to you you can add a little bit more or add a little bit less it depends on your taste Added our icing in a fancy pie bean bag, but you really do not need a pie bean bag. You can do it with a Ziploc. Once we are finished, it's going in the fridge because we have to wait until the cupcakes are cooled. So now the cupcakes are ready. They look very nice, perfectly done. And we are going to start making a hole so we can uh, pour the, the icing and make the decorations for the cupcakes. We're going to make a little hole in the cupcakes and we're gonna save it for decorations. Cupcakes are finished, as you can see, and now we're going to fill the cupcakes with the icing we already made. This is our favorite way of decorating our cupcakes, but it's completely up to you. Be creative. We have finished decorating our cupcakes. They look amazing. Look at this, how beautiful they look. And we now are going to do the tasting. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Let's see. This cupcake is amazing. You have to do it in your house. As you can see, our recipes, they are not difficult. You just need to get the, the ingredients, but it's amazing. It's really easy to make. And it's so pretty. And delicious. Remember to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye.